These are patients who have uh, degeneration of the spine, which is a very common thing. It's, uh, every, as people age, uh, over the age of 60, 100% of people will have some degeneration of their spine. And uh, as the spine degenerates, it causes, uh, in some cases, compression of the spinal cord. These patients are, are uh, in a way, a unique model for a reversible spinal cord injury. Um, so these patients um, have compression, they manifest um, spinal dysfunction, and then the surgery takes place, and in some cases, patients recover. Some patients stay static, and then other patients actually continue to get worse. And it's trying to understand prior to surgery which patients you can help and which patients will not benefit from the surgery. So most of the efforts have been focused on the spinal cord, and it occurred to me that perhaps we need to look downstream. It, it's not just that simple that it's all the action is happening in one spot. The whole idea of doing this study is to look at not just the spinal cord. We know there's injury in the spinal cord, but to look at the downstream effects and see whether or not that injury is propagating back into the brain and having some effect in the brain. So the findings, for me at least, were very surprising. I mean, I wasn't expecting to see such a, such a large change in the brain uh, from spinal cord compression. In our patient group, what we found is that they had a decreased anosetal aspartate, which means that they had some kind of neuronal dysfunction or some kind of damage to the neurons found specifically in the motor area of their brains. N-acetyl aspartate is an amino acid that's found only in neurons in the brain. So in any, uh, any time that you have neurodegeneration, so neurons are dying, or in cases where neurons may not just be functioning properly, levels of this amino acid go down. So what we saw was roughly about a 20% decrease in the levels of N-acetyl aspartate to creatine in the part of the brain that's involved in doing finger tapping in patients with spinal cord compression.